welcome to Florian Models Kit Review Time. Something completely different now, and a project which I've been following along with for it seems forever. Um, but it's definitely one of these kits that comes along every now and again where you can feel the passion and the work that has physically gone into this one. Now, disclaimer. This kit is not cheap. You're looking around about £190 for it. And when you're talking £190 for a 130 second scale kit, immediately it's going to put a lot of people off. But bear with me with this particular one because I'll hopefully be able to fill you in with some of the processes and some of the sheer love that has gone into this kit. Now, this isn't your standard kit either. This is a full mixed media kit, which is lots of photo etch, lots of separate parts as you're going to see, and it's resin, all right? So hopefully you'll see as you make your way through where some of that money has gone, because boy, are you going to actually see it. So what we've got down in here is Aventique 132nd scale. This is the World War I Italian fighter, the uh, Balella, is it? I'm sorry if I mutilate your name. As you can see, beautiful box art, and now there is a few different uh, different versions of this. So we've got the Polish uh, version of it as well, over here as well. So down here, looking at the box, it does say a highly detailed multimedia kit. Boy, is it just that. We've got a little bit uh, about some of the details on here. It's not suitable for children. You'll see why as well. Okay, uh, running around on here. So you've got your kit number is 06. Okay. Again, just the box art is absolutely beautiful on these ones. And then obviously we've got the famous Rickenbacker one down in here and a few of the others working your way around. Now, again, it's quite a small box and you think for the money, not a lot going on here, but it's very hefty because inside here we will get, hopefully these are gonna stand around a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. We have full up with all separate little bags, with all the parts that you can ever want for building this particular one. Now, normally we would start looking at the instructions. The instructions have actually been done by Ron, one of the, the guys heavily involved in this, uh, and he's done a complete walkthrough, step-by-step -step photo build that actually you can get offline or you can download it as a PDF. You can print it out, but to be honest, it's probably better to have it on your tablet. You can expand things up. He shows you exactly where everything goes. And if I've done this right, you might be getting a little bit of it in the background, okay? Again, attention to detail, and that's what we're talking about. This isn't just a kit that is gonna be a couple of slabs of it gonna fall together and away you go. It is quite in depth, uh, there's a lot to it. It's definitely not gonna be one you're gonna do in a weekend, okay? So, you're also gonna get down here this beautiful little uh, book, okay, with full details about the aircraft and a lot of obviously uh, background information as well as we've got a lot of the original artwork throughout it and some beautiful, as you can see, reference shots, okay, to help you bring this thing to life because as I said, it's highly detailed. There's a lot of things going down on to this one. The research in this particular kit, as we know, has been absolutely meticulous going right the way through. And you can just tell by the love and attention of going through all of these, you can see. Then we got a little bit obviously about the markings that you're actually gonna get in this particular kit. Okay, and then obviously kits for different ones. So this is the Polish ones showing you the markings you're going to get in there. So the kit number is seven for that particular one. And then, as I say, working your way through. We've got some beautiful reference photos. <coughs> and some of when they've gone a little bit awry, <coughs> which is quite a feature of World War One aircraft, let's face it. Okay, but uh, beautifully done, as you can see. Again, very nicely printed, very nicely done. Obviously, the full specs of the real aircraft and everything else like that and it's nice that it's been printed on this sort of the original war-torn uh, sort of you know fabric covered books and stuff like that it's a very nice touch also down in here we get a poster so we actually got a poster oh, the Italian one just like that as well as on the reverse side we get the Polish one as well for both types of them okay so another little nice touch with it okay now where to start in this particular kit it's a little bit difficult because i say of the way it's all laid out okay so i'm thinking what we'll do is we'll work our way top to bottom but as you can see you've still got a bag full of very detailed items so straight off the mat we've got down in here the actual top and lower half now these have been taped together just for transport so and I say, I've had this kit now for well over six months because we were waiting on a couple of little things and for it to get a little bit more near release. Now, this has been released. It is available on Hannah's now if you wanted to do it. Okay. 
Now, this is a resin kit. So this is your actual, your main fuselage, as you can see down in here. Okay, it's gonna have some holes that are gonna need opening up and everything else like that. And because this is resin, you might notice this thing isn't exactly square. Okay, so you might notice how this is swooshing down and everything is, but it is a one piece casting, okay, just down, but I don't know how well, it probably looks okay from the bottom, but from the top, if you're like me, you can see that this seems to be pointing downwards. It looks like it's all twisted slightly. Now this comes into fruition when we have the top part here, which is beautifully done. We've got stitching running right around the outside and everything else like that. It's very, very nice. Now obviously this little guy has got your little locating tab into here. Okay, and it clicks in, but then straight away you can notice how we've got a fit issue just there. So this entire front needs to be skewed round and pulled round. Now I'm not saying it's not gonna pull, because I'm suring it is, because actually if you put your finger on it, it's quite thin this, you can actually pull it round. But it might be a case of a little bit of hot water, but I'm sure that the guys uh, will replace any parts you feel that are beyond reason, okay? But that's a, a classic example of what we're dealing here, of being such a, uh, a limited run type kit. Um, and obviously when you're dealing with resin, things move over time and everything else like that, okay? But generally, as you can see, it's flat sized because it's gonna be canvas and all the rest of it. We've got some things to show in a moment, okay? So this is really getting the worst bit out of the way, if we're honest, okay? because to be honest that's not the nicest part the nice parts are when you start getting down and dirty in here now um, what we're going to do is purely we're just going to move these bags out of the way and then we'll come to them we've got loads of bags as you can see and then we can get down into here so as you can see we lift this off <clears throat> okay so they've done this beautifully on a piece of foam board um, to protect everything and to keep this flat because as we know, resin does a twist and everything else like that, okay? So also we've got reinforced uh, bars. So obviously when it fits in, it's good, it's strong and it's located and very, very nice. So what we're going to try and do, I think what I'll do is I'll cut these off and then we'll re-glue down. Okay. So this is where we start to get really, really nice. So wing section, as you can see, we've got beautiful details right the way across these. No problems at all with it. As you can see that ribbing showing through, very nicely done. And then down on the underside, again, nice strong location points. They're not clouded over or sort of mismolded in and things like that. Very nicely done, as you can see. Okay, with those all down in there fantastic and then exactly the same it will be on the wings again we're just gonna slice these i think this will just be easier just to show okay if we just show one because it's a mirror but again very nicely done with the stretched fabric over the leading edges we've got little depressions down in there as well and then on the underside as you can see very nicely done indeed Okay, so no problem with those. And again, nicely put on a piece of foam board just to hold it all into to place. <clears throat> so you know it's not gonna be walking around anywhere. So we just stick this down in here. Okay, just for a moment, okay. We've got the tail planes just down the bottom here as well. Absolutely fantastic, okay, very nice indeed. Right, so then we've got as you can see down in the front here, bags upon bags. Now, each section does have a little bit here. So down in here, as you can see, we've got a thing about the wheels. So it's showing you that this is going to be all your wheel sections and all the parts. So again, we've actually got the tires done just like that. Very nicely indeed. We've actually got the bottom strut going across, as you can see, just down the bottom and the inlay for the actual spoke going across, which is here. Okay, and this has, as you might see, just a little bit of glint of metal at the end. It is metal reinforced right the way through. Sometimes it doesn't sit as close as you'd like, but that is inside. So by the time you paint over that, I don't think you're going to see that metal bar, but it just shows you it is there. And these are a little bit better, more centered up. But sometimes they do work their way to the sides of the mold and they do show through. Okay, so we've got those. We've also got the wheel hubs. 
So we've got the actual hubs themselves. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna need a little bit of cleanup. Don't forget this is resin, but that's those parts done just like that. That's really very nice indeed. And you say this is where you know this isn't just going to be a shake and bake kit. This isn't going to be for the beginner. This is going to be for your experienced modeler uh, who's going to take his time. And this will be a slight labour of love. Okay, so that's that one. Then we've got other parts down in here. We've got, uh, and again, it's written down in here. This is for the struts for the jig for actually doing it. So that's the back stru uh, strut and jig. And then the front strut jig, as you can see, just down like that. All right, so that gives you an idea for that one. Very nice indeed. We've got the front cow and the side cow on the engine. So again, beautifully done. Very nice details. Again, a little bit soft, but it's quite complex to get out of a mold. It's not your standard, just pop these guys out and away you go. Again, very nicely done. You see the grills? And it's on the inside as well. Okay, again, minimal types of cleanup for those. And again, really nice that the bag has got <clears throat> little reference photos showing exactly how it is on the real thing. Okay, just over here we've got the tailplane. So you see, little picture of the tailplane in the bag. And then down in here, we have the tail. Again, very nicely cast, beautifully cast. And that's what I was saying, really, that bit with the fuselage, I've got a feeling it's just a bad one, really. Okay, because the rest of it is an absolute joy. But that beautiful effect with the stretch fabric over the surface, very nicely done indeed. And then we've got the actual tail planes. And they're very nice. And again on the other side very nice indeed and then we've got the rudder that beautiful taut pulled in that's lovely okay and again it's lovely to have these little reference photos of it this is the part you're dealing with that's what you're going to go for okay both sides showing some detail we've also got just down in here in the little bag is the actual skid down the back there and as you can see white metal little skid for it as well beautifully detailed and done right the way through. So again, it's that thing of attention to detail in the kit. This is far more detailed than you would find uh, on your normal uh, injection molded ones. Okay, so then we've got down here, you can see, we're looking at radiator and the prop. So same thing again, we won't bother really popping this guy out. A little bit crew, but obviously the prop, you're gonna polish up and do that. And then we've got the little guy down here. And then, there we go, there's your radiator just sat like that. Then down here we've actually got for the, the spin of the bolt itself at the front, two of them down there, I assume that's front and rear for it, I'm actually going to be putting those in. Very nice indeed. Okay, <clears throat> then we've got these guys, let's see what these are. So these are your, the struts themselves, Put down onto one, as you can see, we've got the metal running right the way through. That's a decent amount. It's not just a thin piece of wire. It's cord. It is showing through on a couple of them. But again, as we said, they are flush in because they are inside the mold. So they're just leaning to the outside. Once they're painted, you'll be fine. And some mids and shorter ones as well. Very nice indeed, just like that. Okay. Trying to keep it all safe. Okay, so down on here, what do we got? These are some more of the smaller parts. It worries me to death, these things. Okay, so down in here, you can see some of the tiny details. So we've got stuff for inside of the cockpit, the various parts, just like that on that little plug there. And again, we've got a lot amount down in here as well. Beautifully done. As you can see, you've got the tiniest little bit of flash, but considering how difficult this must be to pull out of a mold, really it's non-existent. And again, all very clearly labeled, marked exactly what parts are what and where, and then they're marked down in here as well, showing you the numbers. So obviously that will then uh, follow along with Ron's build, and that will show you exactly where you want it to be, okay? And then again, down on here, 
clearly marked for the parts. Beautifully done. Okay, let's pop these back without breaking anything off. It's the only thing with resin parts like this, it scares the bejesus out of you that you're popping something in and out of bags and something's going to go pop. Okay, and again, this is the thing. The part count is very heavy in this. So down in here, we've got the fuel tank. Again, really nice to have this reference to show you exactly what it is, okay? So then down in here, we've got a little bit of a former, okay? And then we've got <clears throat> some more of the internal formers. That's those, there's that fuel tank itself. Very nicely done with the river tank. We've got some other details running all the way around it as well. It's really nice. Little plate there. A little, I think that's oil. The little oil drum. And then again, some of the other parts, as you can see, very nicely done. Beautifully cast. All of these parts, you can't, you know, fault the casting at all. Okay, some of the little ones just down like that. All the parts as well, they do seem to be absolutely spot on and done. So that's the great thing with this one. Okay, so down in here, we've got some of the actual cockpit work. So you can't guess what we are, is the seat, control stick, and then obviously we're gonna have various parts in front. <clears throat> and then again, another little photo showing the instrument dials down in there, white internals. There's that padding around the outside. Okay, and that's the other side of it looking across. So then down in here again, we've got a couple of guns. Beautifully done. Looks like the type of Vickers machine gun. Is it the Lewis gun? Very nicely done indeed. Okay. There's the bulkhead. And the all important seat, which beautiful textures you can see in the actual seat itself and the surface of the seat. And then obviously weight was all important back then, so drilling holes and everything. Okay, and a few little small parts just in the baggie, just down there. Okay, fantastic. So, you're thinking now, yeah, that's a lovely bit of resin and all the rest of it. That's great, but trust me, it's going to keep giving this. It's one of those things that is going to give and give and absolutely give. Okay, so that's that one done there. And then we've got... A giant bag with all your engine okay so this is the actual engine down in here and a gorgeous engine it is as well and it's great these little cards with for references beautifully done very nice indeed so as you can see down here we've actually got the actual main engine block itself looking very very nice okay some of the pots we're gonna run along the top okay and then down in here we've got the smaller parts so we've got some stuff in white and again, really nice, all of these. And again, and again, and again, tiny little pots. These plugs, it's like plugs. Absolutely beautiful, very nicely done. Little manifold there as well, very crisp. Okay, put these back in. So that is the last of all your resin stuff. But as we said, it doesn't technically stop there, okay? More. Actually, we've got two cards for references on there. Beautiful. Absolutely. Okay. Then, uh, RB Productions have done the actual, a uh, little bit of photo etch for the seat. So we've actually got fabric, seat belt. It does look like a little bit of leather or something floating around in there stamped out in fact i think that is but it's a beautiful little bit of um, the actual harnesses for the seats the buckles which obviously rb have done for it so you've got your little instructions there okay now you think yourself that's quite clever that's very good but as we said we haven't finished yet because you also get <clears throat> we got some instrument panels okay so that's all your your dials and your various things for that for the fuel then we get this okay so again we've got another thread here spoked wheels right the way through if you wanted to do that again designed by ron doing all of those and then we've got down on here we've got a huge big sheet of photo etch for all your other parts 
as you can imagine, right the way through, which is going to be amongst all of this. It's absolutely beautifully done. Very nice indeed. So not only you've got all that resin, you're going to have all the photo etch that is going to go with it right the way through. And then I've got a couple of these. This is the Italian one here. You've actually got down in here a full sheet for all the, I assume this is the detail for the fabric. So actually what you've got is the riveting. Now we've used this before, to be honest, I wasn't a massive fan of it, but that's just the version that we used. But down here, again, this gives you, these are uh, like raised rivets that are gonna go through and gonna give you all that detail. But again, so that is absolutely beautiful. So what you can do, as we've got down in here, we have giant decals. So these are for the wood panels for the side, then you can put the riveting on, or vice versa, so it shows through, so and everything else like that. Then we've got this beautiful Motley uh, camo pattern right at the top, all the way through. Okay, you can put all those in. Then uh, you've actually got the doped linen effect, okay, for the underside. Again, giant sheets. Nice that they come with a spare as well, so if you do cock it up, you can actually then drop a spare over it. And to be honest, you could just patch, because in reality, that's what you're going to get right the way down there. So you cut this out. This is like one giant sheet, and then you cut them all out precisely to how it is, and then you place it on, okay? So uh, there you go, cut uh, decals exactly to size, uh, obviously remove all the grey. Okay, so again, beautiful work right the way through on these. And to be honest, I've got some other sets in there, because we've got a slight overlap. Okay, so there we go, that is it. Talk about something that's going. Now the thing is, as I say, I know Ron um, from Telford, to be honest, they always have a stand next to us, which is lovely, but I know how much passion this guy has got for this particular kit. And I'm gonna embarrass him totally now. I've never seen anybody so excited and passionate about a project. He really, really is. Not to mention he's probably the nicest guy you're ever gonna meet. Uh, but it is that thing where people, you see how sort of into they are. Is this not the one for this one? Am I sticking it in the wrong bag? I think I possibly am. Okay, but it is that thing where you're going to have somebody who is so much uh, passion and they've developed this and they've been playing with it and I know he's been really excited about it uh, and to release it and to come along and do everything that they've been doing with this particular kit over the years and to finally now get this thing in the shops is like a dream come true. It's a beautiful, beautiful kit, but, and we do have to be honest here, it is definitely not a kit for a beginner. If you've never built resin before, you're not gonna go down this route, purely because it is gonna be one of those things, each tiny part is gonna take a long time. It's a small kit, even when this thing is done, as we know, it's only going to be about this big, okay? So that's a lot of detail and an incredibly tight area. So if you're a little bit soft as your fingers, you're probably not gonna to wanna to go down this as well. But if you want a project, and I'm gonna call it a project because this is not a shake and bake type kit, but if you want a project and at the end of it, you're gonna have something amazing, something that is gonna be one of those things as a modeler, we often talk about people who can't build kits and they just complain about it. This is gonna be one of, the, one of those kits where you're gonna sit back and it's gonna sit with total pride of place on your bench, okay? And that is what I mean by the price being high isn't really because there's so much passion going to go in this from a development point of view because this is a small little company this isn't Trumpeter this isn't Tamiya you know with hundreds of staff and all the rest of it this is a small team of guys that have put this together and I think that is what is showing through with this kit the love the attention to detail the separate little bagging with all the little reference photos down in here the research the actual stuff that comes with it Ron's instructions for following this are gonna almost make it idiot proof, but each kit is gonna be slightly little bit different. It's resin, and that's what you get with resin. Each one will have its own little quirk, and I'm gonna call it a quirk, and it's gonna be up to the modeler to rectify that, to pull it into shape and everything else. That said, I'm sure that the team will replace any parts. If you've got problems with parts, you break parts, they're gonna be great with aftermarket surface as well. Again, you're paying for all of this. It's all part of the big package of doing it, and this is the difference between shake and bake kit I'm just grabbing the first thing that's closer to this which you know you're gonna pull out the box you've got a huge big corporate company and knocking these kits out and you're gonna have no problem with it this on the other hand is gonna be one of those kits which is made with love 
okay and it's love and it's been made by modelers for modelers to try and do it so in some ways that's why I can almost gloss over the 190 pound price tag for it okay because it is that thing and it will be that thing it's given and been built for you to build with love and attention to detail the same way it was developed and everything else like that and that's why I love this kit I've loved this project from the beginning will I be building it probably not because I think it would even test my skills of doing it and it would be one of those kits where I will keep it and I will cherish and I will love it and when I'm not time constraints with cameras and various things I might set myself aside a project to try and put this thing together and over time to develop it and you know so it'd be one of those things as a video build it'll be terrible to watch because it'll take far too long but from a personal build it'll be probably one of the best you could ever do as a modeling kit so there we go that is Avantique's 130 second scale but I can't pronounce it. It's a Bolivia, a Bolivia, Balea. My Italian's rubbish.